look at fresh decoy there. If you guys face that way, Valkyrie's still alive for a little bit longer. This isn't going too bad. I say that with like complete optimism as I like slowly use up my mana. I wish my bow was a little bit faster. I actually really like this guy's like colors and shit by the way. I always thought he looked really cool as like sort of like, I don't know, a blue bat winged kind of dabbler. You know? I don't know. The, the blue and the gold just looks really nice. Mind you, I like the original style of Diablo that you get in um, Di uh, Diablo 2, right? Oh shit! Oh shit, move. Diablo 2 has, in my opinion, the best Diablo. Uh, like, overall, like, character design. I think he just looks fucking awesome with, like, the big black spines and, like, the, the horns and, like, I don't know. Just, like, the build and stuff looks so cool to me. Um, I, I don't know. Diablo's always just kind of been my favourite out of all of them anyway. I don't know specifically why that is, but yeah. It's, uh, mind you, I always forget that, um, <gasps> we did it! In one life! In one life! <laughs> I didn't die this time, Alliance did. Oh yeah. What the fuck, there you go, nice work. I didn't realise he was dying. I was so focused on trying to keep my Valkyrie's health alive. I was looking at this the whole time. That's what I was focused on. I'm like, please stay alive. I was like, something could have been next to me hitting me and I would not have noticed. By the way, that happens every so often. I'll pick up my shit first and then I'll talk to you, mate. I'm happy about that. That is, I'm doing <laughs> marginally better in Nightmare than I was in Normal town portal and there's one more thing over here. I'll probably run into like another demon or something. You know how it is. Alright. I also love the unique wings that they went with with all the angels and stuff. I think it's cool. Like it's weird but it's cool you know. It's not like just fucking some variation of feathers. Kiri was a fool to have trusted me. You see it was I who told Diablo and his brothers about the soul stones and how to corrupt them. It was I who helped the Prime Evils mastermind their own exile to your world. The plan we set in motion so long ago cannot be stopped by any mortal agency. Hell itself is poised to spill forth into your world like a tidal wave of blood and nightmares. You and all of your kind are doomed. I always loved that, like, the... as an angel, he was like a double-crosser. Like, oh yeah, see Tyrael. Yeah, I always just thought that that was pretty cool. I just like looking at like the armor and shit. I also, you can see his bones. Can you guys see this? You can see his fucking like arm bones here. <laughs> I've never noticed. Is that just like, that's gotta be armor, right? Yeah, what the hell? so cool. So I didn't get a chance to like look at it the first time because I accidentally clicked on him and I got killed because I killed him and I didn't kill everything else in normal so I never got to see this properly. Like he just was gone kind of thing. Um, uh, I have a portal over here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah that's where Eliza died. Let me in. Okay. I'll talk to Tyrael, then we'll go back and we'll get Eliza resurrected, because she deserves that. Thank you, Tyrael, for putting Iswell's tortured spirit to rest. May the light protect you, and the powers of heaven shine upon your path. But if what you tell me is true, then I fear that we have been played for fools all along. Iswell helped Diablo and his brothers trick me into using the Soul Stones against them. Now the Stones' powers are corrupted. The combined powers of the Soul Stones under their control, the Prime Evas will be able to turn the mortal world into a permanent outpost of hell. Uh, I have. Oh, wait, I can resurrect her here? Fuck no. I forgot. I guess I just don't talk to Tyrell enough. That's gonna be a lot, a lot better. Alright, well she's alive again. Um, I was gonna say that I, I always love the fact that um, in Diablo there's this kind of idea that you start in like the rogue encampment on normal and the world's already kind of corrupted and shit, but there had to be a time before that 
because every time you destroy the world stone you always end up back in the rogue encampment which means that there's always like a better world before it and there's always a worse world after hell in my opinion that that's at least how i kind of like see the game is like the infinite loop of like this thing happening which was funny because i didn't really come across that like notion until i was playing through this on normal because you know when you play the game so many times you kind of just skip dialogue bits here and there or like you've heard it and if you're particularly young you may not have fully understood it which is what i had i actually need to talk to kane um so i kind of like got a better perspective of this game playing through it now as an adult it's been great play diablo 2 online at all or just sticking to this so game to play if you no doubt there um just out of interest i do have a rule that says please don't ask to join me in game i understand the um it's a it's a plight request and stuff like that but please don't ask um i haven't played it online i don't really intend to um i generally play solo or with like close family and friends and stuff like that that's more sort of how i kind of like play my games and stuff um just because like as as like i don't know uh i kind of seem like very outgoing and stuff but i'm actually really shy and reserved and stuff i don't actually like interact with people outside of like games and stream and shit so it's really like contrasting in a way because like games make it so easy for me to be able to talk to people um but like if i was like actually having a conversation with somebody without a game playing in the background there'd be no conversation realistically there'd be there'd be like how's the weather like that kind of awkward shit you know um but yeah no i i pretty much kind of I don't know like if it was anything like the old kind of you know the old battle net right where you could just hop into anybody's game and it was great and everybody was kind of like good and stuff about like um like what do you need what do you need to progress and stuff like that like i wouldn't mind that kind of thing but the thing is that because this is my first playthrough of resurrected the other thing is i can't just make another character and go hop into another game and play and experience the game because i haven't finished playing through her yet um and she would be the character that i would take into other people's games right that's more how i sort of play diablo because i was thinking about it the other day and um because i i do get asked every so often about this sort of stuff especially diablo because obviously you know uh Oh, Azula's come to join us. Hold on. Azula's my cat for anybody that doesn't know. And she's going to sleep in a fuzzy donut. Um, her bed. But she needs pats first. Hold on. She's confused. Don't put your butt on my drink bottle, sweetheart. Alright. Well, my drink bottle has cat butt now. So I'm just going to put a, I'm gonna put something on that. So I don't accidentally pick it up and drink that. Um, she got startled and backed back into my drink bottle. A full cat butt happening. So that happened. The shadow! Mate, fucking hell. I have I have Red Bull for backup, so yeah, fuck you. Hold on. Welcome in, Shadow. What happened? A quick five minute break for stuff. Got great news tomorrow. We're going to be signing lease for new apartment. Nice. So new place is like the win. Sweet. That'd be awesome. Um, yeah, no, I, uh, what the fuck was on about? Yeah, the, the game itself. So because I'm still playing through this as my first look, like my first playthrough, like I can't just create another character and play that because knowing me, I would end up playing that through to like completion. And therefore, as I'm experiencing hell and other stuff like that, it's not going to be my first take on it, you know? It will be like i'll have a second character kind of thing i'm a bit of a stickler for stuff like that because like the character that i'm playing through a playthrough on or a game save that i'm playing a playthrough on is solely for stream uh so that you guys can like i don't know experience me playing through it and stuff i guess but um yeah like i've got that with rimworld i want to play rimworld offline like off stream 
but I can't play. I have to wait for every Tuesday to play that. And mind you, sometimes I sneak it on Wednesday on random game night just so I can play it more. But um, yeah, that's that's one of those ones where, like, because of my stream schedule, I'm kind of trapped with the games that I can play and when I can play them and how I can play them. But I don't mind. Once I've finished playing through this character, once I've finished playing through Kelly, I will have um, a character that I can do whatever with then. And she'll be free to do whatever I want with. But uh, then I'll probably do a sorceress at some point. But, uh, what's it? Uh, work time. What is it? Oh shit, you gotta go to work now. I'm gonna search for its full sun again. Uh, thank god this place be standing in is under trees. Nice. Yeah, no, we've had some like really hot days last week, and then we had like some really fucking cold days this week. It's been confusing here in Australia. It's been, um, like, it's spring, right? But our first few days of spring felt like summer. They were like 38 degrees and stuff. It was hot. Like, that's Celsius for anybody. I think we worked out that's like 90 something degrees Fahrenheit, I think. I, I'm, I'm spitballing there. I can't remember off the top of my head. But um, it's about that. And it, it has been warm. Like, I almost put my heater away, and I'm so glad I didn't. Um, because I need it this week. Which is also why I have the cats in here, because they're like, heat up. Mind you, after all that, Azula did not even want to sleep in her her cat donut. She went and she slept on uh, Nick's fucking keyboard instead. Um, so I got cat butt drink bottle and no mushy cat in a donut. That's a little bit of a rip off in my opinion. Obviously, like, I still love my cat and I don't care, I'll wash up the drink bottle later tonight, but still. It happens, like, once a month. I have to say, probably get cat butt on my drink bottle at least once a month. Because I don't have much room on my desk. Ah, wrong weapon. There we go. So, I've got, like, this really, really wide desk, but both myself and my partner are on, like, the same desk. And, um, it used to be, like, a lot of space for me when I did, like, drawing and I did, um my gaming and all sorts of stuff right and obviously enough space to put a cat on the side but now I've got like this cat bed my partner's system are like fucking combined four monitors and there's not a lot of room so unfortunately cat butt happens every so often it is kind of like the trade-off for this like desk setup Eventually one day I'll find like a desk that's like a little bit nicer. It's hard to like find one that is either longer than this or two that fit in the same space but longer, wider, whatever. You know, it's really weird. But um, I'm actually really happy with how this is progressing through because I basically, oh shit, electricity. Basically, like last week, we kind of arrived here, and I ended up, I ended up finishing early so that I could kind of like lay through all of Pandemonium Fortress. My hope is to get to an area that has like a portal or something, but I can't remember where the next portal is. I'll, I'll come across that myself. I'll, uh, I'll take a look when I go back to town next. I do have a level, and I just want to kill some stuff around me and get like the edge of this map before I do that. Come back in, mate. And you guys can see like my awful leveling system. Not it's enough uh, mana. Yeah, I don't have enough mana. I'll tell you what, it's a little bit better than StarCraft, where when I play StarCraft I'm constantly getting screamed at about my lack of pylon. <laughs> it's uh, constant. I also play that on like random game night every so often. Not too much, because um, I don't know about you guys, but like I, I find certain games have like a different kind of community to them sort of thing. The Starcraft is one of the ones where like I generally get people upset that I'm not using hotkeys in it. Uh, I also get people here occasionally upset about Diablo me not using hotkeys. This looks safe. Let's do my thing here. But uh, yeah I don't use those and that upsets a few of the Starcraft community people. So this is how, please tell me that that did one, thank you. There we go. 95 across the board. I'm 59 now. Oh man. It's taking forever to like get there, but it's fine. Five more levels and I can start wearing 
proper fucking armor. Maybe. It's still not going to be strong enough, but it's fine. So I used that extra point before to do the the five across the board here. And I know, okay, I, I know and I understand that if I wanted this to be stronger, I'd just put like 15 points into that and we'll win and everything. But that's not how young me did stuff. I was like, oh, to make this so much stronger, I should enhance all of them. And I did actually use Fire Arrow for a long time too, so making that stronger. I sometimes do like to use that because it costs, I'm pretty sure, less mana. Like three mana per seven mana. What's it do damage wise? It's up to 106 versus 19. Not that much better, but I can do a little bit more attack less mana drain. When I start like getting issues affording mana, because that will be a problem eventually, I might do that. I've got two skill choices remaining. What? Really? Okay. I can probably fix up some of these that are fives now. Or fours. I really should be putting more in here, but I'm trying to get those all five and these all five. Because I had all of my passive and magic, but not all of my bows. I only did fire. For the most part. I unlocked all of these, but, and those will wait till the very end, but these kind of want a more powerful Valkyrie, but a longer standing decoy could also be beneficial, and I've got enemies coming. What of you, mana? You're only like one mana difference, but you're like 25% better. 25% cooler, for sure. Uh, 50% instead of 40 it only lasts for like five seconds longer. Like that would still help. I'm gonna get that next time. I oh, know. Wait. Let's get both now. It's like, it's like that fucking taco ad. It's like, why not both? <laughs> oh man, Diablo is tacos. Fantastic. This is that's just making it even better. I don't know about you guys, but I quite like tacos. I don't make traditional tacos or anything like that. I make like, I don't know, an abridged version, but um, they're pretty good. I gotta get the scent a bit too, but we got the whole round the map, so I can now actually like move through and like kill anything that I missed. Um, yeah, I make like these, uh, this variation of tacos. I've got like all the pictures and shit like that on like my Instagram and in Discord and shit if anybody's interested in that. But, um, yeah, I, I don't know. We make them like every other, other month, I think. And they're so fucking good. I might actually need to go back, but I'll see if I can pick up some more shit first. So they're so fucking good, like, I would be okay being over full eating tacos. Like, you know, that's like one of my like trade-offs, I'm like, I'd be, I'd be okay with being uncomfortable from that. But then again, mind you, like, as much as like burritos and stuff exists, like, I actually have to, if I want a good burrito, I've got to go and like actually buy that kind of thing, because I can't make that shit for, for whatever. I'm not a very good cook. <laughs> Let me just say that. I have I have this like rare fucking ability for cooking. I uh, I have a 50% chance of 100% fucking up my dish. I know the, uh, the math there doesn't math, but it's basically like half the time of whatever I cook is unedible and half the time it's amazing. And the thing is I can grab the same ingredients and halve them and put them across two dishes, cooking them together and split them up, right? kind of like split them up at some point and like and cook them separately with the same ingredients all the same ingredients like half the ingredients of the other and it still turns out like shit like one of them turns out great and one turns out shit even though they're using half the same ingredients it makes no sense but I have that talent that's my special ability yes. it's really fucking annoying because like half the time the food has no flavor like, I managed to cancel out everything that made it okay in the beginning. So, yeah. I don't know. That's why I don't particularly, like, enjoy cooking. But, uh, every so often, like, I don't, I, tacos is, like, hard to fuck up. Basically, anything that doesn't require heating, I can do really well. I, I don't know how that works, but if I have to make, like, a salad, it's fine. Although, if I make a sandwich, I'll tell you what, that more than 90% of the time I actually fuck up sandwiches. It's, it's incredible. They're so bad. Like, they're the same ingredients every time, right? But they're so bad. Um, 
like it's, it's weird I think it's got a lot to do with the order of the ingredients I think and like some of the time it's really nice and it's a nice sandwich and most of the time it's just fucking awful all right now I can actually use these because I got three of them this was something that I figured out when I was a kid luckily because I can use it now in this playthrough is the old big potion of rejuvenation give me that oh man I've been stockpiling these forever and a day. I had like so many rows of it. I've been very slowly chipping away at it. I don't have a lot of spare space. I kept two new charms, which is a bit of a shame because I actually ditched two of the same size. So now we're back to kind of, oh, hold on. That back where it was. 8% faster and that one does like fire damage and stuff. I will need them. I will pick and choose my charms when I arrive. I love that shit like breaks when you come back in. Now, I don't remember which way I was running, but I think it was this way. I'm also trying not to sneeze because that happens at least three times a stream. I need to sneeze. I don't get what it is, but it happens. And sometimes I successfully fail at like trying not to sneeze. Hey, mate. Also, there's another small thing. Did you guys hear when she came back in? That time she actually sounded. Hold on. Let me take it back to this one and I want to try summoning her. I hadn't thought about this before. It sounded like that just a moment ago. That's what I thought I heard, but lately... No, it still made the balloon inflation noise and she's blue again. I love it when she's blue. It makes me so happy. So when they made Resurrected, they made it sound like she's a balloon inflating. Like she's some kind of like magical thing that just like, I don't know, swells up and appears kind of thing. But uh, I like the sound effect of the original where she sounds like she's taking a breath. Like she's literally like getting life breathed into her or something. I think it sounds a lot better. You'll hear her when she like teleports back into the area every so often. It just sounds like a balloon getting inflated. It's so weird. But yeah, I noticed it at first. I'm like, what the hell is that sound? It was so off-putting. I was like, what did they do to my Valkyrie? Because I always like the sound of her like coming in as like a breath. It just sounds nicer. I think this whole area over here should be done. I can't imagine... Alright, we got that. I can't imagine anything still being alive over here because we had big battle here. So, there's time to get this area over here. I don't have... There's a good chance there's going to be like one or two enemies and then we can move forwards into the next area. Like this is Plains of Despair. I can't remember what the next area is. I forgot. There, you hear? Fucking, sounds like a balloon. What a choice. Um, yeah, I can't remember what the next area is and I forgot to look at my waypoint when I went into town, but it's fine. Um, pretty much most of this area is one I missed. You'd think that like a couple of dollars here and there doesn't really matter too much to my character, but you'd be surprised. There's so many times where like the difference of like having picked up all this gold and selling all the stuff actually really matters. Like with like the last area, Act 3. I accidentally keep pressing that, sorry. Um, in Act 3, I came across the problem where I was underpowered to get past Travancore. Even though I'd done all of Travancore and I was like oh I'm not gonna I'm not gonna spend the time to redo this basically if I've cleared an area on the map if I have to come back through here like next week or something like next Thursday whatever right I won't re-clear the whole map I will kill whatever is in my way or gets in my way um to like let me have passage and stuff because I'll usually just teleport to new areas with the waypoints right but if I don't have a waypoint yet and I have to run back through it um, yeah, it's a problem if everything's alive, and that's kind of what I did last week. City of the Damned. Alright. Yeah, I kind of fucked up and left everything alive last week, and that was... Yeah, I, I learned from that. We're not going to do that again for a while anyway. I love that they change colors too. I love that that's like the smallest details that they change. It. This is now... What the fuck was that in there? This corpse spitter. Okay, that actually makes a lot more sense now that I think about it. I, I always just thought they had eaten stuff previously and that was their attack was to just spit stuff, not to actually consume and then spit stuff. The fucking wrath eater. 
I love the the bones that go around him. He's. I don't want to resurrect my Valkyrie. I need her to stay alive for just a minute. Don't kill her. I want her to stay blue. I like the blue one. It's that and the full silver one. You know, eventually I'll get the. Uh, I'll pull up the bronzy looking one, and then I'll be really happy. There's lightning going everywhere. Yeah, this. That swirling shit that they put on the skeletons. I love it. I, I think it's just like fucking like an animal or something. A bunch of bones like rotating around them. I need to get closer to one of you guys. Hold on. Come back here. What is it that's rotating around you? I guess I won't know. I'll come back to that later. I just like how it looks. And these things. These things hanging around the place. I don't know what they're supposed to be hanging on. I love that they're just like somewhere in the void just hanging in space kind of thing. I have to assume that this is supposed to be some kind of like undergroundish kind of place but it's not. I might need to go I might need to go back just to get arrows because I can't actually take a close range hit. Like I do have a close range weapon but it is not strong. It's like 20 something to 40 something and that will get me killed. That will get me killed so fast. Come here, Kane. Stay I love that he's sometimes up here. Oh man. You know, the funny thing is, like, as a streamer, one of the first things I thought of for the whole, you, you know, the follower noise was to stay a while and listen. And I'm like, nah, I, I can't do that. Like, I could, but I, for some reason, just didn't want to. Just because, like, I love Kane's voice. Like, I love, like, independently encountering him in the game and just, like, hearing him speak. And like when he gets like talking and stuff, it's great. But um, yeah, I, I almost had it for like my uh, follower one, but I think it's like, I think it's a uh, star generation instead. You, can I get some arrows please? I've got like, I'm not even sure how many, it's not much, but we'll go and we'll put that away. I still think it's awesome that my gear is purple. It's so weird to me. I love that it looks like it's like black purple, but on me it's that, like between the two of us. Come, come stand with me, Valkyrie. Thank you. Come, come back. I love that, like, my boots, I could see it on her more than myself with the spikes on her shoes. I guess they're probably like leather clips. I love that she actually like moved forward then. I would prefer to have a circlet like that too. That's actually something that I, I preference, but I, the crown is the best I can do at the moment. But yeah, I, I love like, um, I don't know, let me take it back to the other one. I prefer how much more she kind of like sits, kind of stands. But yeah, I can't wait to get like fucking a circlet that matches it a bit better. Like obviously if I had a spear, I did have a spear earlier and we looked a lot more alike. But um, I like my Valkyrie. Uh, I know that like there's no difference between you know well there is but there's oh fuck there's like little to no difference between like the difference in the the Valkyrie summons and stuff I know Sariel has like deeply explained the lore before a couple of times for um, the differences in the Valkyries with the colors and what they do and stuff but um, I don't remember it off the top of my head but uh, yeah it's just I like the colors I like the fact that you can summon them in like special colors. It was something I didn't really notice too much. But you know how like with the gear, like my gear looks a little bit different. Um, it not much. It does look very similar at the moment. But earlier when I had more of like the leather gear, we had more of like the butt flap looking thing going on. I'm like for some reason I would much rather her have like, I, I don't know how this works, but like the butt flap armor. <laughs> I I like that. I would like that to be back. I know you guys want to kill me, but you gotta wait. I see the bat thing here. I don't know. I like the, uh, uh, I guess like the, the leather armors and stuff. Oh my god, somebody's in here. It's awesome. Death Eye. Immune to lightning. Oh, mate, I'm not worried about casting lightning for you. If I can just stand behind where my decoy is, I won't get hurt much. Hey, you've got one of those things on you. What is that circling on you? Oh shit, fuck, hold up, move it. <coughs> I nearly get myself killed sightseeing. Don't mind me, I'm just sightseeing for hell. 
well, it's nightmare, but you know. Oh god. My Valkyrie's nearly dead. Come on, back up. Come with me. There we go. I don't have to keep her alive. I could resummon her. She is just magic. But uh, I would like to keep her alive. I like keeping the blue one. Just because, like, I don't get it very often. I do, but I don't. Like, once I get it, she usually dies really easily. Which is a bit of a shame, because I just like how, like, the blue armor, the blonde hair and stuff works. The funniest thing is, like, at the moment, my avatar's got, like, the, um... Uh, the orange dress and stuff with the kitty Venus form. 